Hey Adrian, how do you grab an object out from a computer screen? Easy, let me show you how. First, record yourself pretending to hold the object on the screen with your fingers. Then place the real object in your hand and pretend to pull it out from the screen. Here's some extra things I did. I opened a half-closed laptop screen to convince viewers that they are looking at a real screen. Notice that I am not touching the screen when pretending to grab the object. I have already determined the distance where the real object will be the same size as the one on the screen. Also, notice that after pulling the object out from the screen, the one on the screen is no longer there. How did that happen? On my Windows laptop internet browser, I went to the object's sales page, which is a webcam. I selected the same color as the one I have. Then I pressed Shift, Windows and S keys to activate the screen capture function. I captured the full screen, open the captured image and choose Edit in Paint. Inside Paint, choose Selections and select the webcam. Right click the selection and choose Cut. Go to File and save as a new JPEG image. Open Google Slides and start a blank presentation. Insert the original screen capture image into the first slide and set it as the background. Add a new slide and insert the second image without the webcam and set it as the background. Now play the slideshow. Now all I have to do is to press the right arrow key to switch the slides. So after putting the object in my hand, I used the other hand to reach for the right arrow key. Yes, I'm a one-man show, no assistant. Open CapCut and start a new project. Select the recording and tap on Add. Move the timeline forward to the part where you pretend to hold the object in the screen. Select the clip and do a split. Move the timeline forward some more to where you start to pull out the real object and do another split. Select the middle piece that we don't want and delete it. Comment yes and I will send you the link to learn more. Otherwise, play back and watch this tutorial again and again.